and this is where it gets spicy. That might not be too accurate. What is going on everybody? Today I'm gonna to be comparing the New Balance More V4 versus the New Balance More V5. Let's get right into it. So starting out with the outsoles of the More V4 versus the More V5. Overall, I think that the performance for both traction as well as durability of both of the outsoles to be around the same if not equal. In my experience, I didn't really have any trouble slipping or sliding in the More V4 as well as the More V5 on the roads in dry weather conditions. As for trails, wet weather conditions, I haven't really ran in these shoes too much in those conditions, so I can't speak on that. As for durability of both of the outsole traction patterns, both of them have been holding up very well. I have around 60 plus miles of walking and running in the More V4 and around 30 plus miles in the More V5 walking and running, and both of them look to be holding up very well. The more V4, I saw that the etchings on the rubber traction pods were wearing down just a touch, but then again, I do have more mileage on the more V4, whereas the more V5, those etchings are still in place. So overall, the durability seems very good to me for the outsole point of view. Now let's move on to cushioning, which is what these shoes are known for. So starting out with the More V4, we have a full length Fresh Foam X Foam, as well as the More V5, we also have a full length Fresh Foam X Foam, and this is where it gets spicy. So I'm not 100% sure what the stack height is on the More V5. On Fleet Feet's website, it says a 44 millimeter stack in the heel, dropping to a 40 millimeter stack in the forefoot, but I just have a hard time believing it. Whereas the More V4 is well documented as a 34 millimeter stack height in the heel, dropping to a 30 millimeter stack height in the forefoot. So that gives both of these shoes a four millimeter heel to toe drop. But I do have, a little bit of trouble trusting that the More V5 has 10 millimeters of stack height more than the More V4. So I would say that that might not be too accurate. So how did these foams perform and how did they feel? So the More V4 was a very comfortable shoe in my opinion. I had lots of fun running my slow and easy miles in this shoe, but the foam didn't really do too much in terms of picking up the pace or running a little bit faster. I felt that the foam was very soft, but not super responsive. Whereas in the More V5, the the foam is still soft, but it is a touch more lively and fun to run in. I felt that I could pick up the pace a little bit more if I wanted to, and it just felt like a more versatile foam. I'm not gonna say that you can run super, super fast in these or wear these on race day and break a PR, but I think it's a little bit more versatile than the more V4's Fresh Foam X foam. I also do want to note that the Fresh Foam X on the New Balance More V5 just feels a little bit more cushioned underfoot. Now that could be due to the mileage that I put on the shoe. I have twice the amount of miles in the More V4 than the More V5, but overall, from what I remember stepping in first time in the More V4 versus the More V5, the More V5 just felt so much better in my opinion. So cushioning is gonna have to go to the More V5 for its versatility as well as just the underfoot feel in the More V5 is better. Moving on to the uppers of both of the shoes, they both have a mesh upper, however, there has been some changes. So the More V4's upper was pretty good in my opinion, it also felt true to size, but the tongue is not gusseted and actually it did make a difference when I was wearing the shoe. I felt a little bit of uncomfort in the midfoot where the tongue and the mesh upper meet, but it didn't cause any blisters or anything like that. It just made it feel a little less seamless in the shoe and I did feel it while I was running and walking around. Not a big deal though. As for the heel slippage or heel lockdown as well as the rest of the upper, it performed very fine. Uh, ven ventilation on the More V4 wasn't anything special and heel lockdown also wasn't anything special, but this shoe did run true to size and it definitely got the job done. My mini complaint would just be that the tongue just didn't blend super well with the upper, at least for my foot, so that's something to keep in mind. Whereas the More V5, I would say, has a little bit more of a snug fit it still runs true to size, but it is a good type of snug where it feels like it's hugging your foot and it just fit my foot super nicely. As for the tongue, the More V5 actually now has a gusseted tongue, which I thought was super comfortable. And I think it contributed as well to the seamless and snug 
nice fit. As for heel lockdown, the heel lockdown was perfectly fine in the more V5. It was nothing special, but it got the job done. Especially with both of these shoes, I want to note that I did have to do the runners not in them to get the best heel lockdown. As for ventilation of the more V5, I would say that it's a pretty thick mesh upper, so I didn't get too much ventilation in this more V5. And my foot sometimes did get hot in hotter weather conditions, even though you know, San Francisco doesn't get too hot. I did notice that the ventilation wasn't too good in the More V5. But overall, due to the fit as well as the new gusseted tongue, I would say that the More V5 wins on the upper. So overall, I wanna talk a little bit more about the feel of running in both of these shoes. I think both of them are fantastic max cushion shoes, but they do feel quite different. The More V4, in my opinion, feels a little bit more clunky and a little bit wider of a base. I do have a wide foot, so I did enjoy that. But due to the foam lacking a little bit of responsiveness, I felt that this shoe was best utilized for a lot of slow and easier miles. Whereas the More V5, as I talked about in the cushioning section, it just has a little bit more lively feel underfoot. And I do feel that I can pick up the pace just a touch and run a little bit faster than I can in the More V4. The More V5 is still a chunky monkey and it is not gonna feel super nimble on your foot but I do think that it does feel a little bit more nimble than the More V4. So overall feel, I think the More V5 just fits my running form as well as just my needs a little bit better than the More V4. So overall, which one is better, the More V4 versus the More V5? For me personally, it's the More V5, but with this information and with the comparison between the two, you guys can be the judge, especially with the price difference now. The New Balance More V4 has gone as low as around $75, I believe, $75 to $100, you should be able to find these. So I think that is a phenomenal deal if you're looking for a max cushion shoe that you're not too worried about um, with the clunkiness or with the extra stack height, but I think it's a great recovery day shoe as well as a great walking shoe. Whereas the New Balance More V5, they increased the retail price from $150 on the More V4 to $155 on the More V5. And I think that even though it is a lot of money, if you are looking for a very, very comfortable max cushion shoe and you want a little bit more versatility than the More V4, I think that the More V5 is going to suit those needs very well if you're willing to pay that extra dollar. And that's gonna wrap up my comparison between the two shoes. Again, I really did enjoy running in both of these shoes. I will continue wearing them as well as walking in them. I think these are the perfect shoes if you're standing for long hours as well as if you wanna walk a lot or if you want those long, easy, slow miles. Both of these shoes are gonna take care of you just fine. I just felt that the more V5 felt a little bit more versatile and suited my needs a little bit better, but that is up to you guys to decide whether you guys wanna pick up the more V4 or the more V5. So that's gonna pretty much wrap up my comparison video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and also stay tuned for future shoe reviews, running vlogs, all that good stuff. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.